Hello, last time we looked at camera movement and the 180 rule. This time we're going to look at how to improve the sound of your film. It's very easy to forget about sound when filming. Even some professionals don't pay enough attention to the sound on their film. At the end of the day, if the quality of the film is not that great, if it's got a good sound, you will watch it. If it's not got a great sound, you're not going to watch it. So, how do we improve it? First of all, do not use the inbuilt mic on the camera. They're crap. They take in too much ambient noise, they're not very good quality. And I'm sure that the manufacturers increasingly are thinking we're deaf idiots who've got no idea about sound. But this isn't true. So when choosing a camera, always try to go for a camera that's got a mic socket and headphone socket. Because the first thing you're going to need are headphones. Very simple. They plug in, you can hear the sound. So whoever your cameraman is, whether you've got sound going into your camera or going into an external device, your sound man can hear all that's going on, hear any background noise that shouldn't be there. Always useful. I found that the small earbud ones that go in your ear, they're pretty good because they do cut out a lot of external sound that shouldn't that you could mistake. Microphones. Well, as you probably guess, here I'm using a little tie mic. There we go. It connects it clips on you like so and this one is a radio mic, it clips on your belt. It gives your talent the <coughs> gives your talent the luxury of being able to walk around with not being attached to the camera. You can also get wired tie mics like this one. There we go, that clips on you, that plugs into your camera or recording device. They're very good for when you've got a scene where you've got a wide angle shot and it would look silly with your two talents walking along while they're being followed by a sound man with a boom and a fluffy end. Next, we've got one of these mics. They're very good for close-up work if you're in a noisy environment or interviewing people, especially outside in a street or by a road. You can talk and then ask them a question and you get a good sound with it. Last, but definitely not least, is the good old boom mic. These can set you back anything from £20 up to £20,000. And yes, I have seen some at that price. Probably made of gold. But basically, you can hold them up high and it picks up the surrounding area so it can pick up your scene and your talent speaking. If you want to get better sound, you go for an external recorder. Now, the professionals will use either a DAT recorder or a digital DAT recorder. But for a cost-effective way, go for one of these. This is a mini disc recorder and player. It takes these. It records your sound digitally and you get far better control over the sound quality that goes in. This is where one of these comes in, a clapperboard. Have you ever wondered why the pros use a clapperboard? Well, it shows details about the film, the day, the date, the scene number, what take, which helps with the editing process. Also, you get this, a clap, which helps match up the sound to the film. Basically, when you import your sound and your film onto your editing suite, you will see a big sharp spike in the sound, which you match up to when this closes down and you have your sound matched up. Noisy locations can be difficult, so choose your locations carefully. Try and stay away from schools, especially around playtime, fire uh, stations, police stations, hospitals. The last thing you want in the middle of a romantic scene is wah, 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 wah. that can be really off-putting. 
So this is where one of these comes in handy, especially if you're doing interviews in the street. You can ask the questions nice up and close. It picks up your voice, but not the background area. Other places to try and stay away from are building sites. I have had it where I'm filming away and I suddenly hear from the building site, Hey, you're making a movie. Can I be in your movie? Mate, can I be in your movie? And you think to yourself, wish I could shoot him. I really wish I could shoot him. Sorry there isn't a little film explaining and showing sound, but uh, it's pretty hard to explain sound in a film. Next time, we're going to be looking at lighting. Different types of lighting, different techniques, what you can do with lighting and without lighting, what you can do with reflectors. We're going to cover night shots, um, day shots, simulated shots, shooting outside, shooting inside, and what you can do on a shoestring budget. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If so, please subscribe, comment, and I'd love to see what your video is, so please post a response. Bye for now.